Namaste everyone. In this video episode, we are going to create three different types of observable that is cold observable, hot observable and connectable observable. If you need an intro on each of them, then please pause this video and watch video episode 4 and 5. Trust me, you will not regret it. Get all the links from the card or the description of this video. So this is not the first time that we are creating cold observable. All the observables that we have created in this video series till now is cold observable observable.just, observable.from iterable and also through the observable.create we have created cold observable. Now to prove that create an integer observable just like we did before and subscribe on it. And pause the main thread for say 3 seconds. And then add another observer to this observable and hit run. After the first observer prints, then wait for 3 more seconds. And voila, the second observer kicks in and it doesn't miss any emission. Both of them get their own separate emission, which is like playing a CD. So, before we jump right into creating hot observable, we are going to create connectable observable first, which can convert any cold observable to a hot observable. So this way we cover both. I mean connectable observable is nothing but a hot observable. Now creating connectable observable is very easy. Let's start by creating an integer observable using observable.chus like before, but this time use dot publish after that. This publish method can convert any observable to a connectable observable. Now just subscribe to this observable and run. Hmm, it seems like nothing happened. Connectable observable does not start its emission right after you subscribe on it. It starts its emission the moment we call dot .connect. Okay, so let's go ahead and call the method connect. Okay, now let's run. There we go. It seems it just works like cold observable. I mean, previously the same thing was happening. So let's check whether it is really a hot observable or not. Now add another observer here and run again. Now we can see that duplicate items are getting printed from observer 1 and observer 2. Now let's change the order, add the observer 2 after we call the connect method and run. Whoa, it seems like observer 2 gets no item to print. The moment we call the connect method, observable start emitting all the item immediately. Now whoever subscribed to this observable later surely misses some emission. So we can call it hot observable. So that was our cold, hot and connectable observable. If you have any doubt then you can comment below or message me on any of my social handles. And if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon so you don't miss our videos every Sunday. It's me too here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.